how to address the damage of antibiotics. Hi, I'm Dr. Ina at Digestive Reset. I'm Dr. of Pharmacy, Functional Medicine Practitioner, and best-selling author of two books, Digestive Reset and Crohn's and Colitis 6, which you actually can grab for free on my website. As always, our disclaimer can be found on the website, digestereset.com. This information is for informational purposes only. This is not medical advice. Follow the advice of your healthcare practitioner while consuming our content. So let's get to review that information and think what can work best for you. And today we will talk about one of the most asked questions I get, antibiotics, the damage. A lot of us have taken antibiotic at least once or twice in the past year or two. And did you know that the damage from the antibiotic can last up to a year? for certain really, really strong, potent antibiotics, and you need to recuperate your gut microbiome. I have a lot of people asking me what they can do to get back to a diverse and balanced gut microbiome after the intake of, of taking those antibiotics. Because most of the time you really did need them. The clients that are currently working with me go through a specific gut testing to see exactly what would benefit them. Since we can look at the picture of commensal bacteria or possible other markers that can give us more clues. But for those of you who are doing this in their home, um, on their terms, please consider doing these five things to build back your gut microbiome and have stronger diverse stronger lining stronger shield during the course of antibiotics and for three to six months after to prevent and take care of the damage increase prebiotic fibers and we talk about soluble fibers insoluble fibers that include nutraceuticals, of course, those are great as, as always, and foods as well, including kiwi, avocado, and others. Intermittent fasting, 16 to 8, 16 hours off, 8 hours on. Well, it's not for pre-diabetic or diabetic patients, but if you do not have blood sugar instability, giving your tummy a little break is great. It's going to make sure that more commensal bacteria has a chance to grow. Next, eat a whole food, clean, organic diet. And if you are on a budget, there are plenty, plenty of options for you there. Whole Foods has a really great things on budget as well as Trader Joe's. Consider those, please. Next, four to 500 milligrams of polyphenols. Consumption of those is very important, like berries, broccoli, carrots, flax seeds, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, green tea, peppermint, organic dark chocolate, and others. For example, 100 gram or three and a half ounces of blueberries have about 500 milligrams of polyphenols on its own or about 108 milligrams of polyphenols is in 100 grams of broccoli. You can actually consume that amount needed. It's not that hard if you put your effort and intentions to that. Add in resistant starches. Those include brown rice, green bananas, lentils, if you can handle it or take an enzyme, potatoes, beans, also enzymes sometimes. Be mindful of glycemic index especially if you have insulin sensitivity, blood sugar um, unstable. This was Dr. Ina with you at Digestive Reset. Please join me 
Uh, I'm going to have a great discussion on December 6th. And if you follow this for a few months with probiotic use, appropriate probiotic, probiotic use, you're going to do so much better than if you didn't do this. Again, join me for the upcoming webinar on December 6th. Looking forward to see you there. Please register. This is Dr. Ina at Digester Reset.